Okay, you know, I was feeling sympathetic towards these guys, but now I'm getting, you know, this is ridiculous. This guy's been sitting here going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I don't know what he's doing, you know, but it's getting annoying. This is a holiday. This guy's getting overtime. These guys make huge amounts of money. Uh, there was a couple guys up on the lake. Constant parties, big houses, big cars, big drug parties. Um, lots of money these guys make on the railroad and now they're complaining that everything's falling apart well I don't make that kind of big money and I don't know what these guys are doing whether they're cleaning maintenance they've been here all day long and all night long just sitting here making this kind of noise and they were doing this the other night now I don't pick on people for working I'm glad people are working I, I don't care how much money pe people make you know within reason you know, but I would like to make money. I would like to have a, a, a job where I don't have to worry. An ironclad contract, um, you know, ironclad. If no matter what you do wrong, you can't lose your job. You know, I don't have a job like that. I'm sitting on a park bench here. I can't even get a place to live. There's incentives, tax incentives, stuff to be written up uh, that help for people to, to fix up abandoned properties. Do you think anybody up to City Hall would help me do that? Doug Capels, uh, uh, all, all, uh, her whole family works up there now. She can't even fucking type. But I have to sit here while she's done this for the last 20 years with my ex-husband. You know, uh, you know, I, I don't know what more to say what's going on here. This is organized crime. I can't even get a car to leave and at least sleep in my car and go do something else or live in another city. You know, they told me to get out of here. So I went to Maine. I, I was hassled in Maine. I was assaulted. My stuff was stolen. Okay, so this is what I got to deal with. And after a while, yes, it breaks me down. That's the whole point. They like it filthy, dirty, and disgusting because that's what they are. They just keep breaking you down until you have nothing. You can't shower. You can't get clean clothes. You can't get a car. You can't get a job. You can't get a house. You can't get nothing but sit in a park and listen to this filthy shit. And believe me, all these people make good money. Eighty, a hundred thousand dollars. I couldn't imagine making a hundred thousand dollars a year. And these jobs aren't that hard. They're just basic middle class jobs that they cry all the time they don't fucking have enough. They don't fucking have enough money or a big enough house or are a big enough car. These people are driving around in huge SUVs living in fancy cul-de-sacs up top, but still they cry they don't have enough money. But here I'm sitting on a park bench listening to this guy just sit here all fucking night long.